Hi, I'm Don Dawson. Today we'll be learning about compressed gas cylinders and expanding our knowledge of how to work with them safely. You'll find them being used as part of welding systems, in manufacturing operations, and in maintenance activities. They're used all the time in the refrigeration of materials and equipment, and even in medical procedures and laboratory experiments. We're talking about compressed gases. These days, it's hard to find a facility that doesn't use them in some way. And it's the cylinders these gases are contained in that make the distribution, storage, and utilization of many commercial gases practical and economical. A lot of gas can be squeezed inside a cylinder, but it takes a lot of force to do it. For example, the compressed oxygen in a typical cylinder puts about 2,200 pounds, or a little more than one ton, of pressure on each square inch of its container's walls. That kind of pressure can be dangerous and the gases in the cylinders themselves can have hazards of their own. So let's take a closer look at how you can avoid these hazards and work safely with compressed gas cylinders. To take the appropriate precautions with a compressed gas cylinder, you need to know what's inside it Guessing about it is a recipe for disaster. Hooking a cylinder full of the wrong gas into a system could be the last mistake you ever make. So let's dispel one myth right up front. 